um, I have trained many coaches over the years, hundreds, and um, I know I know that for many of them, they have gone on to to run really good businesses, which is which is part of the world. Others have just incorporated their coaching skills in their work, etc. Um, I don't mean just in a sort of mere <laughs> minimalistic way. They have been able to to incorporate coaching into into their um, normal um, job. Um, However, coaches in general uh, are not always as well thought as they would like to be. It's, they, the, sometimes they are so involved in other people's worlds that they don't apply those, think, those principles to themselves. Um, they don't think so deeply. They don't have such, such a rock solid foundation. One of the things I've learned from my business and people joke about it, um, because one of my lines is, I don't do shallow. And if we're going to if we're going to, to be able to help people, we need to be helping people from a place of personal strength, because they will pick up our confidence. They will pick up um, our um, attitude to the world, and having that attitude sorted in your own thinking, or at least well on the way, is is important for coaches too. I do ask coaches some very deep questions, and um, because. So many people think that coaching is a fairly, fairly um, do this and this will happen, do this and this will happen, a, a sort of fairly close, um, superficial almost thing. Uh, for me personally, the coaching that I prefer is to provide rock solid foundational principles that enable people to build their lives from that base.